Assalamualaikum Welcome back to my channel So for today I'm going to share with you How to use Mendeley as your reference citation manager Before this uh, I did share some education content For those who are interested can go back uh, to my previous video to check on Maybe it can help you for your study or anything So without further ado I'm going to make this video short So that uh, we can go straight to the objective of this video Which is I want to teach you uh, on, on hands on how to use the Mendeley So this is actually Mendeley is actually a, a citation reference manager That you can get for free from the website of Mendeley which is from www.mendeley.com so in here when you click on the website you can see here download Mendeley desktop for windows you can directly download for your windows if you're using windows but if you use another, uh, another system like uh, apple for uh, mac os and desktop for linux you also can download it is i think it's compatible to most uh, most of the uh, system os system that uh that we have that we have for now. So uh, once you download uh, the Mendeley uh, desktop for your computer, you can go to your. I need to change. First. So now uh, I'm going to show you on the on the um, on the Microsoft Word. I think most of us are familiar with Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is uh, a software that we use to type and. Uh, to do writing so after you download the add add-ins or the plugins for your Mendeley you can see here under reference uh, there is one uh, there is um, an icon for Mendeley here and another one is open Mendeley so it is automatically if you download Mendeley for your citation reference it is um, it is automatically will be under your reference tab so once you uh, firstly you need to go to the Mendeley website to download the uh, applications then you have to download the add-in or plug-in for Mendeley for your Microsoft words to be used uh, during your writing process especially for the citation part and thirdly uh, after you download, of course, you need to get familiar with the application, which is I'm going to show you. Okay, in here, uh, this is the Mendeley desktop. Uh, I would suggest for you to have an account for Mendeley so that you can see everything that you have on the Mendeley desktop on the cloud storage in Mendeley applications uh, in online Mendeley application so that when you change to another laptop the data will be automatically synced in okay so here you can see uh, from the both uh, top left you can see here file edit view tools and hub on the left panel you can see here all document recently added recently read favorites, the review, my publication, unsorted and a few folder that I already, uh, I intend to use uh, some of the example here uh, I'm, I'm in the, I am in the midst of writing article review master thesis, narrative review, PhD thesis and systematic review uh, this is important, uh, it is very important to make folder for every work that you have so that you are going you are not going to uh, get confused this file is intended for what purpose so uh, for today's uh, i'm going to show you how, how to use the mendeley applications to ease or to speed up your writing process so in here i'm going to create one folder and i'm going to name the folder as the mendeley 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 basic class okay okay when you see here uh, after we make the folder for uh, uh, for today objective I want to share on how to use the the Mendeley you can see here um, in the Mendeley basic class tab there is no paper at all so of course we have to add up to or to upload the paper that we wanted to cite in our writing so 
on the top left you're going to see the button or icon add just click on add so uh, in here you just uh, locate uh, where you save your paper for example here i'm going to go to download i'm going just i'm going to select majid 2019 for example today click and press open tab when you already uploaded the paper in the specific folder uh, you are going to see like this you are going to see the author's title year published in what journal and when is the date you upload the paper normally when we already upload the paper you need to know one thing here you have to check uh, the paper okay i'm going to show you how so here uh, as you can see here uh sometimes you when you open the paper it is going to pop out like this or like this if it pop up like like just now like this you need to open this one to check either the information uh, of this paper are correct or not for example here we have like a review paper uh and title enzyme immobilizations onto the nanomaterial applications in enzyme stability and pro drug activated cancer therapy under uh, the international journal of biological macromolecule so on the on the right panel here uh, you can see that um uh, there are few um few information which are important for the citations and the bibliography uh, later i'm going to show you what is a uh, bibliography so that you can get uh, you can understand more why we need to decide to do the citation in a correct, correct way so in here uh, the type of this paper it can be it depends uh, uh, normally uh, mendeley has the ability to detect uh, the the information but uh, sometimes it cannot detect we have to add up and edit it manually so uh, in here it is general article we just check the the title the authors uh, see here we have like a lot of authors uh, just click here click tap one by one um then the journal what year paper has been published in you can see 2020 this one on the left on the right side also 2020 volume 143 pages in here you can see on the top of the paper 665 to 676 so it's quite all right here here and the right so that is that is very important to 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 take note every time you upload paper in mendeley so once you upload in the mendeley of course you want to use this mendeley for reference manager okay so i'm going to show you for example if we take uh, this one this one okay just just click fuse okay you want to cite uh, this one in 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 your in your writing this particular statement uh, of course uh, you need to um, you need to what we call it you need to paraphrase but in this case i just want to use i just want to show you what is the application for mendeley so once you already take the statement and paste it on your microsoft word of course before before you is not it is not all right to copy and paste but for this video purposes i just want to show you how to use the mendeley uh, you can see here um, we already cut and uh, we already copy the statement bear in mind if you want to write you have to paraphrase to make it in your own words it is not okay to directly copy and paste people works okay the only for this video i just want to make a shortcut so that this video won't be too long um so uh when we already um uh copy when we already take the statement here for example uh this statement of course we want to cite we want to acknowledge the writer of this paper uh the writer that write this information so we go here insert citation uh just now we know this paper is written by majid and his friend so we just type, type uh, the word majid in this box 
So, so majid paper in the year 2020. So you can see here there are three majid, but we need to choose the right one for uh, from where we take this uh, the statement. So just click. Okay. So after you click. You already cite, uh, uh, you already cite the paper, and we know that this paper is from Charifi at all 2020. So just to check back, uh, we go to the Mendeley desktop. Uh, Mendeley desktop, uh, okay. The Mendeley desktop, we can check. Uh, uh, we can check the name of the writer in the. Uh, paper information details or we can just check on the paper itself here see Sharifi at all 2020 so uh, uh, this is very easy very easy to use uh, you don't have to like to think how to do the citation one thing you don't have to manually do the bibliography so we move on to bibliography okay once we have already already have the statement you already cite the original author of the paper of course in the reference um in the reference uh, in your reference we want to take out the bibliography okay what is bibliography bibliography is like this okay okay for example you already uh, uh write for one paragraph and you have like few but in this case i only show you once because again i don't want to prolong this video so here uh, under the reference tab you just click the insert bibliography see it is automatically uh, re uh, written for the system written for you so from here we know that uh, this paper is from Sharifi Majid at all and his friend at all which is more than three writers here or authors uh, from to 20, uh, from published in 2020 title like they like this from this journal uh, volume and what pages so this is like easy easy very easy so uh, again uh, you can use this one uh, for how many as how many as you want uh, unlimited uh, you don't have to pay for this application uh, and the best part I can assure you this um, this application is actually helps you like 110 percent for your writing so um what else i can share you about the mendeley um, i think that 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 should be enough uh, for now um, but uh, again uh i i would like i like to remind you guys every time you upload the paper inside the mendeley desktop bear in mind you have to check the details so that you won't have problem with the bibliography because some of the in my experience during my FYP uh, during my degrees years and also during my master's years there are some of the uh, reviewer uh, also examiners uh, if they check your paper or your thesis some of them like to go to the reference and check one by one either the bibliography is written in the right way or not okay uh, i just remember one thing if okay some of us might um how to say this some of us might uh some of the papers sometimes they request uh uh because uh if references we have like so many formats sometimes we use uh apa style we use uh, Vancouver, Vancouver. Actually, uh, in Mendeley, you can change uh, the way you want to do the citation and bibliography. Uh, I think I can show you in here. So, under the reference tab, okay. Just now, when I teach you, uh, we use the style under APA. Honey, APA. So, in here, it has like another style you can see here if you click on the reference manager style you can see we have like american medical association american political science association american physiological association it depends on the requirement of the paper or thesis but for your itm as far as i know we are using the apa 
style. So I think that's it. That's all. Um, I hope for those who are request DM me about this video, you can get uh, some information. And I hope you can. I hope you guys can use this um, Mendeley uh, in your writing. And um, before I end my video, if you find this is very interesting, very benefits to the others, I hope you can help me to share to as many to as many people, especially students, as you can. Uh, and I think that's it from me. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum.